Alright, so I was originally supposed to make my review for Black Adam since I barely want to talk about my thoughts on the movie. But uh, I decided that I had pretty much had to sacrifice a video for a video. Basically, a soul for a soul. But instead of, like, soul, it's videos for a video. So I pretty much had to, I pretty much had to sacrifice that video. As in, just postpone it to another day. And decide, because, like, the reason I'm even making this is because it's Wednesday. And I'm hoping to upload this ASAP. Before curfew happens, because I already got, I already have to end my review, double movie review for Daughter Would Be Kid one and two. Hello everyone, we're back to another review on the channel. So about two days ago, I had just finished watching Wednesday that had came out on Netflix about two weeks ago today. Actually, I meant to watch it, but I was, I think I was busy around that day. Probably lazy, probably busy being lazy. I don't know. I don't recall what I was doing that day. Actually, actually, no way. I do recall what I was doing that day. I was with my mom that day. And I was recording my siblings on the turkey trial, which was in this video that I had just uploaded earlier today. So though, I had planned to watch two episodes each day, well technically each night as I go to bed. And after the first episode, I was intrigued to watch the next one, and I pretty much had to torture myself until I pretty much had caved in. I'm like, okay, screw it, I'm watching the other two episodes as like, early, I, I, like for this Monday, between Sunday and Monday, which would be December 4th and 5th, I was just gonna, I, I watched the... Episode 5 and 6, but since I was up late and didn't go to sleep, uh, wasn't tired or anything, I decided to just watch 7 and 8. I could have watched anything else, I mean, I was debating what the hell I should do, whether I just play Fortnite or something, but instead, I decided to watch the other two episodes, and, uh, glad I did! Probably wasn't worth it, though? Actually, probably was worth it, I don't know, it's cause, why would it not be worth it? Because it was a school night, and I was hoping for it to snow. So that way it'd be a three hour delay, but sadly it wasn't. Can you snow? <laughs> why you had to go away? But yeah, this is my season one review as I, again, finished watching it two days ago. As I watched four episodes in one night, mainly the last four. And uh, I'm going to say this right off the bat. This is one of my favorite shows, new favorite shows of this year. And it's definitely going to my top ten best TV shows of 2022. Because wow, who is that good? Like, I'm completely speechless. This is just as good as Stranger Things. Like, hell, even... Pretty much beaded Stranger Things 4's watch time. Just, I don't know. I was seeing something about this all over social media. And I'm like, oh, wow. People really love this show. And then I've been seeing ads all over TikTok. Literally, I I, I I have not even tried doing this dance. do it but i'm gonna make a tiktok video doing it i'm gonna try and make this quick just talk about what i want to talk about because i mean i would have taken notes which sometimes helps me out but uh i should easily remember what i would like to talk about but i will be talking about spoilers so if you've not seen it i highly recommend you to check this out because like you're just missing out if you if you're not interested i mean like like, like this is this is just surprisingly good but yeah, I will be talking about spoilers, so this is your final warning. So right off the bat, uh, about the Adams Family. I'm not a huge fan of Adams Family. I mean, not that I, that I'm, not that I'm not interested in it. It's just I'm just not, I'm just not like a long time fan. Now I, I what I have tried to watch the first two Adams Family that came out in 2019 last year. That's backfired because I've not had the chance to watch them. They're on Hulu, so I could try to watch them sometime. I don't know. I definitely remember trying to watch one live action version a while ago, and just honestly, I, I, I this is just my big question. What, what the hell are the Adams family? Are they like some type of monsters or something? I, not that like they're monster monsters. I don't know. I just have questions with the Adams family because I'm not like a long time fan. I don't have any knowledge about about these characters other than that. Oh, well, I know a little bit, but just. Again, I'm not like a, I'm not a huge fan or a long time fan, so I'm just, I just don't know nothing much about these guys. Like, I'm like thinking, are these guys supposed to be some type of monster family or something? Because that's what I'm, that's the type of vibes I'm getting. Also, I can't be the only one thinking about this, but don't you think that Gomez and, uh, oh crap, I forgot the mother's name. Don't you think they're just a little bit too horny with each other? Because like, as I, 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 because again, I never remember watching a live action movie of one of the Adams Family, and uh, 
the way they act with each other now, yeah, of course, I understand they love each other and all that, but all I'm getting is that they're just horny for each other. I don't know. That's just what I'm thinking. So, just thought I'd mention that. But since it was reported or announced, uh, either either one, that Wednesday was going to get her spinoff series, I'm like, okay. That's interesting. Basically, another live action. Like, this is basically, I think this is like the second or third time that we've pretty much gotten live action versions, from what I recall. I don't know. Okay, again, again, we do have the live, not live action, we do have the animated movies, which... I don't know. Are they going to make a third one? I, I'm willing to bet they're going to make a third one next year. Because I was surprised that we were going to get a sequel. Wait, when, when did I find out they were making a sequel? So, and uh, I was also surprised that Jenna Ortega was going to be playing Wednesday. And uh, what do I think about her? I freaking love her as Wednesday. She is freaking amazing as Wednesday. And actually, I should probably show you the tweets I've made as I've watched each episode. Ortega's this year now. I've not seen X or that other movie that came on HBO Max earlier this January, but like, honestly, it's just been her year. There's just been some projects that had her in it. So I, mean, I, I remember she was in Stuck in the Mill, and I'm surprised that, oh wow, I'm, she's now doing like dark and mature projects now that she's no longer on, on Disney Channel doing, wait a minute, has Stuck in the Mill ended? I'm now just realizing this. But yeah, I just want to say right off the bat that Jenna Ortega is freaking phenomenal as Wednesday. Like, actually, if I remember correctly, I said, I, I did cover a trailer reaction, and I did say that I think she's perfect for a role and that she's going to kill it off. And guess what? I was right, because she killed it off! Also, the school that she goes to, Nevermore, I can't be the only one thinking about this, but, like, you cannot tell me it's giving you... Hogwarts vibes. I had literally just watched Harry Potter recently. Like, all eight movies, including the Fantastic Beasts ones. Because, no joke, Nevermore just reminds me of Hogwarts, since there's, like, I guess different categories of different types of monsters that they got. There's, like, uh, ones that are, like, Medusas, but also Sirens, but also Werewolves. And Wednesday is best friends with a werewolf named Eden. I'm hoping I got her name right. But seriously though, just seeing these two on screen, they are like the best duo I've seen. Like, I, I just love seeing these two on screen together. Wanna well, you know why I love seeing them pop up every time on screen? Thing, and I'm talking about the severed hand. Agree to disagree, but he was just like the GOAT of this entire show. He was like the MVP. Like every like every time he just showed up, I was just happy to see Thing because just he was just my favorite part throughout the entire season. I'm not gonna lie though, I seriously thought he was actually gonna die as he got stabbed through the hand, literally. But thank god he was brought back from the dead, but seriously though, if something like that happens to hand, I'm gonna come and murder you. Nobody messes with Thang! But another thing I liked about the show is that it's pretty much a mystery. Sort of like a murder mystery. Close enough. But mainly just a mystery, just... There's, there's just this creature that's been killing innocent people and taking their body parts so they could resurrect a pilgrim that hates outcasts. And that eventually works until he's defeated later on. Also, speaking about the creature, HOLY MOTHER OF GOD! WHAT THE HELL AM I LOOKING AT?! Literally, as soon as I saw this for the first time on screen, oh my god, it creeped the hell out of me! This is one of the most scariest looking creatures I have ever seen on screen! And I don't want to sound rude saying this, but, like, just seeing this creature, it just gave me Tim Burton vibes. As in, like, okay, this is something Tim Burton would create. And technically, Tim Burton is the creator of this show. As I think he directed only the first four episodes, and then we had a different director for the last four episodes. And it would probably make sense for why it would give me Tim Burton vibes, and why I would think that this is something Tim Burton would create. Because he's literally the creator of this show! Let's speak about Tim Burton. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a fan of Tim Burton. I, I remember he's worked on a few projects that I've liked, especially Frankie Weenie. That's that's not, that's also one of my favorite Disney movies of all time. So yeah, I guess that's another reason why I wanted to check this out. Besides, uh, it's intriguing. Uh, Jenna Ortega cast as Wednesday. Just Tim Burton. Like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of Tim Burton. But seriously, though, you've got to admit, this looks scary as hell. Literally, 
This will haunt my dream. I cannot stop staring at it. I don't even know how the hell I'm going to edit this video while staring at this thing. Like, look at it. Look at it. It is scary. It is horrifying. Terrifying. Ah! Well, props to Tim Burton for giving me nightmares. I've not gotten nightmares yet, but I know for a fact that this creature is going to pop up in one of my dreams soon. But it is revealed later on that it is a high. So pretty much, there's a suspect. There's an imposter among us. One of these characters is the high. So yeah, I pretty much had my bets on who was it, whether it was Xavier or possibly Taylor, who, speaking about Taylor. I've been watching that on a loop, mainly because I just love the music. I just do. Also, we were all pretty much just shipping him and Wednesday together, and, uh, all, okay, funny, first, let me just bring this up. I was, what the, why, why am I showing my foot on camera? Get, get, get down there! As soon as they're about to kiss in that one scene, which I think was episode 7, like, as soon as he was about to lean in for a kiss, Wednesday was just all like, oh, screw it, I like him too. And as soon as his dad comes in and just ruins the moment, I'm like, ah! <laughs> ah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh, man, I honestly was just going nuts for these two. Now, sure, Xavier and Wednesday could have been also a thing, which could be a thing in season two, if there will be a season two, which hopefully there will be a season two. But I think we can all agree that we were just all heartbroken that it was revealed that that Taylor was actually the monster, which... I, I want to say I saw a comment, but I don't know. I mean, he I was suspecting something was off, too. Actually, when I think about it, I probably saw it coming. Because there's a scene where he says, the monster is here, and then he gets scratched, and I'm like, okay, something feels off. That thing would have killed you. There's no way you got out of there alive. Sure, you may have gotten scratched, but like, I'm on to you, I'm on to you, buddy. There's no way that thing will let him off. He would have immediately killed him. Then again... It's actually him, so he did it to himself. But yeah, I was surprised that, oh my god, Taylor is the freaking Hyde. Are you, are you kidding me? Which was pretty much a bummer, since he pretty much was a bad guy all along. Honestly, it's just giving me scream vibes with, you know, the boyfriends being revealed as the killers, which I was getting scream vibes for some reason in this series. Mainly between Taylor and Wednesday, even though they weren't a thing until, like, the seventh episode, and then Wednesday gets a vision that, oh my god, Taylor's the monster. I guess I do have a type. But I'm honestly glad that Taylor wasn't killed off in this season. And uh, the, with, with the way they ended season one, I definitely believe that we're going to be seeing them again in season two. If there will be a season two. Also, Wednesday mentioned that she's not going to be a slave to technology. And uh, it's funny how she ended up just keeping the phone that she got from Xavier. Because, uh, welcome to the 21st century. But all of my thoughts with season two. I hope we can get a season two soon. Because, like... Someone clearly wants Wednesday dead, because now that we've gotten rid of the pilgrim that wanted to kill all outcasts, which would be the monsters, we now have another bad guy that's now going to pretty much be stalking Wednesday. And again, I hope we can get a second season. I want another season of this. And they plan, and I heard that they plan to either make three or four seasons of this show, and uh, I, I hope we, again, I hope we get a second season, because I really, really want to see what happens next. And yeah! is right. The suspense is killing me because what if Taylor escaped out of that truck thing because he literally transformed into the high. Oh, I should probably mention this. There were two bad guys. Well, one bad guy and one bad gal. And that would be one of the teachers at, like, I should, I should have saw it coming. I thought there was something off with her. Now, I don't remember her name, but, uh, yeah, she's later revealed that she was pretty much behind it all along controlling Taylor and was just trying to resurrect, uh, this pilgrim dude that pretty much wanted to get rid of all outcasts. Like, I should have saw it coming, it was her, because, like, the way she was being too nice, my inst my instincts were just telling me that she's acting a little bit sus, don't you think? Uh, I may have saw it coming with Taylor being the high, but, like, I, 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 I thought there was something that, like, literally, I just got Among Us vibes, because, like, you're just, you're just suspecting, okay, what if this person's the imposter or something, like, I don't know. I'm going to disagree. But seriously, though, props to Tim Burton and everyone that's worked on this show. Jenna Ortega is phenomenal as Wednesday, as I mentioned earlier when I covered our trailer reaction. And, uh, yeah, I hope we can get a season two because I want more Wednesday.
So with that being said, those are just my thoughts with Wednesday. Now, if I wanted to give this a rating, it's going to be a 10 out of 10. Okay, I had a, I had a hell of a good time watching this. And immediately, I already want to watch it again. Except I'm already busy trying to catch up with a bunch of other shows like You Season 2 and 3. Still though, be sure to let me know your thoughts, comments down below if you have seen Wednesday. And uh, yeah, as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Actually, no, I should probably end it like this. If you got that reference.